So, John, let's get to it, huh? Let's do it. We found some Seminole fans right here on the front row, man. You got ringside, basically. Tell me about what you're excited about today. I'm excited to see a faster paced tempo offense, no huddles, just straight up lethal simplicity. I feel great about Coach Tagger. He's bringing a different environment. He's throwing it back to the old days, and I love seeing these these prime time, these old old guys coming back and being on campus. And I got Bowden's autograph today. I got everyone. It's amazing. I love this new environment. Go Knowles! Nobody you want to start the season off more than with Charlie Ward, legendary FSU quarterback. Charlie, how's it going, buddy? Uh, it's going well. I'm just enjoying uh, seeing a lot of the old faces and uh, getting a chance to see the new, new uh, team. How excited are you about this team and the new coach? Uh, we're excited you know, to see how things uh, go. And today won't really be a indicative of what it will look like because you have guys split up but we'll at least get a chance to see the style of play and see some of the guys and then finally what do you think about the electricity in the stadium the fans and what are the guys thinking right now too uh, well, of course this is a uh, great to see spring game where we have this many like people here and people are excited about coming to watch the nose all right, we're on the field now, but let's move upstairs to everybody's favorite place to watch the game, the Dunlap Champions Club. Take a look, there it is, folks. Three seasons ago, this will be the third season for the Champions Club, and it is one of my favorite places to go on game day. Let's take a look. I came across the man that makes things happen up here in the Champions Club and the University Center Club. Danny Masuti, how you doing, buddy? I'm great, how are you? I'm hanging in there, man. People are so excited about Florida State football this year. And, and you know, the, the Champions Club looks as fresh as ever. You guys have, have, have uh, really done a great job up here. Thank you so much. This is the biggest turnout we have. We have 6,000 people today and everybody happy with the food we have. And this is, uh, I think like I said it before, this is the biggest turnout for us. And we are very, very, very hopeful for the season to start. And I think we have a great season. And thank you so much for all your support. Well, it's our pleasure, you know, and, and Danny, you know, it doesn't seem like the lines are too bad. People are getting through really quick. Uh, I, I, I love the, the, I just tried the nachos and the loaded hot dogs, man. It's so great. If you're a member of the Champions Club, it's got a lot of perks, man. And there are still some memberships available, right? Exactly. Well, we already have 70% uh, of our club seat being sold out, and we have 30% left. So we are very excited, and you are welcome to uh, kind of reserve one of those Champion Club seats. So if someone was interested in becoming a member of the Champions Club, who would they contact? They have to go to contact with the booster ticket office. The, the Seminole Boosters. The Seminole Boosters. There you go. Danny, good luck this season. Thank you much. It's good to see you again. Yes, sir. And we love you, and thanks for coming. And go Nose. Woo! Thank you, buddy. Nothing we love more in Tallahassee than our female business owners. Check them out. Glenda and Amy. She's from Hi. Fit. She's from Bella. We do vitamin shots if you're feeling like you're a little tired. Come by and see us. You don't have to be on the diet to get it. Makes you healthy, wealthy, and wise. And how excited are you about the Seminoles? They're great. <laughs> okay, hey, there's some in-depth analysis right there. All right, everybody loves bubble bread at Bella Bella. We love bubble bread at Bella Bella. We love beef mouse. We love our craft cocktails. We love craft beer. We love you to come in and check out Bella Bella. That's right, how excited are you about FSU football? FSU, number one, baby. It's gonna be a great year in yeah. business and in football. I love the Seminoles because they're, they're good at football. Um, my name is Savannah, and I think the Seminoles are really good. And I think that the Seminoles are lit! And I just love everything about Seminoles, and yeah. <laughs> this is Megan Nixon, and I'm here with the Chris Craft. Everybody knows him around Tallahassee, so we are in the 
Skybox, the party Skybox, right? You've been voted the best party Skybox for three years in a row. Is that right? There might be a plaque hanging here somewhere, but yes, we, we tend to have a good time during FSU football games. I mean, there's disco balls, there's everything's lit up. This is like, this is the place to be. We take it seriously. What can I say? We love Seminole football and we love Tallahassee and it's a good crowd. We have fun. Awesome. Perfect. So tell us a little bit. I mean, this this is uh, Willie Tagger. We've got everything going on right now with the spring game. So this is the biggest attendance that we've seen in quite some time for a spring game. How does that make you feel as a supporter of the Knolls? Well, I got my friend Tim over there making faces at me. But actually, it, it's awesome because, you know, typically in spring games in the past, we'd all squint and say, yeah, there were 30, 40,000 here. But there's 50,000 people here. This is like a regular season football game. And it's just the excitement, the passion. I got a chance uh, with Seminole Booster meetings uh, yesterday to meet uh, Coach Taggart for the first time. And I'll tell you what, with a group of guys that were there from the board meeting, every one of us wanted to run through a wall after we learned, listened to him speak. He's just motivational. His kids are buying into it. The fans are obviously excited. And uh, you know, here we are at spring, spring game, but it just makes you want more, and summer can't get, get go along fast enough. Absolutely, and I have to say, as a, as a business owner here in Tallahassee, you give so much to the community, so much to the Seminoles. I mean, what does this community mean to you? Well, you know, as, as uh, FSU goes, as FAMU goes, as, you know, that's how town goes. And, and, and when everybody feels good, business is good, people stay local, we do business local, and it just makes Tallahassee that much better a place, and uh, we're excited. It's, um, I mean, this is awesome. This is this is April, and it's football season already. It feels like it is an actual it football game really? right now. It really does. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all you do for Tallahassee. Always appreciate you guys coming in to see us. Absolutely. And I want to do a shout out to my man Dallas behind the camera. Oh, yeah. Dallas, the superstar. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Megan. Thank you. All right. In the middle of it all now with Petty Officer Kelly, who just had an amazing moment here in the stadium. Explain to us what just happened. Well, uh, I ran out and uh, surprised my brother. Uh, I didn't tell anyone I was coming home. It was great to see him. I've been gone for two years. It's, I'm, I'm glad to be back. <laughs> it was really incredible. First, he put a message on the screen, which was really neat, and he thought he was getting a special message to his brother, and then all of a sudden popped out, right? And then what was his reaction? <laughs> uh, we shed a few tears out of it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I miss him. Uh, I love my brothers. Uh, we ain't seen each other in a long time, so. That was really neat. Uh, we're so glad, and we thank you for all you do for this country. Appreciate it. I finally came across a player that actually was on this field when I was at Florida State, Dedrick Dodge. What years were you, 85, 86? 85 to 89. 85 to 89. What's it like to be back at Doak? It's wonderful, man. A lot of excitement. It's good to see a lot of the former players, alumni that's back. There's a lot of energy. This is going to look for a, good, a great upcoming season. Introduce your friend over here. Oh, they got it. They got it. <laughs> hey, this is Harold Ballard's class, 92 to 96. First national championship in the country, Florida State. Bottom of some of the greatness, Deirdre Dodds. So now tell me what you guys think about Coach Taggart, because everybody is so excited in the city about Coach Taggart. It's Taggart time, and uh, I just I'd love to hear what your feelings are. I mean, you can see it, it's just the excitement of it. It's like a rejuvenation and stuff like that, and um, just gotta give him time. You know what I'm talking about? Um, time to get his coaching staff and everything in place. But as far as the energy and the excitement, that's awesome. Okay. Well, thank you for everything you did for Florida State, and welcome back home. All right, guys, that wraps it up for segment one. When we come back, get ready for Doke After Dark. We've got vanilla ice, salt and pepper, all that to come and more. Coming up next. Every single case I've ever tried, I can tell you the name of the person. I can remember their face. I remember their family. I remember everything about that person. We found out during the trial that our client literally had three, four weeks to live, something oh, like that. Okay. Yeah, and um, when we were done with the case, she said, I didn't expect to get any money from this case. I'm just glad that somebody would go to trial and fight for me. That's one thing I love about trying cases is because you really have to get to know your client. Mm -hmm. You have to go to their house 
have dinner with them, break bread with them, look at all their pictures, look at their photo albums. And that's how, that's how you win the case. You, because you gotta love your client and you gotta express that, that feeling that you have for your client, you gotta convey that to the jury. And if you can do that, you're gonna win the case.